So I wanted to make a quick video, um, since my voice is, uh, as you can hear, pretty messed up. Uh, I've recently had a really bad flu that took uh, away a lot of my voice, and I just now am getting it back. And I wanted to show you some books that I picked up from Barnes & Nobles. And I usually don't go to Barnes & Nobles. I usually buy a lot of my books from Amazon, or I go to book sales or thrift shops. Um, I don't like to spend the money that the books are kind of priced high at Barnes and Nobles and you can get the same book on Amazon for like half the price um, but here are some books that I have got at Barnes and Nobles um, when I was less smart and didn't realize that um, the books were cheaper on Amazon and also some of the books you couldn't pick up um, on Amazon because they were just weren't available or the prices were about the same so the first one I picked up is one that I really am looking forward to reading and this is Mao's Great Famine. It's a part of a trilogy I believe. So this is uh, Mao's Great Famine, the history of China's most devastating cas catastrophe. As you can see here's the other um, two books a part of the trilogy. The one I wanted was um, The Cultural Revolution but uh, I started off with this one because this is the first book in the series. So I picked this one up. It was for $18, which is kind of pricey for me. I usually like to get books that are um, $9 or less. Um, but I'm glad I picked this one up. And also my favorite author, my favorite historical author, is Young Cheng. And she was the one who obviously had the review here on it. Um, but anyway, I picked this one up, uh, honestly, kind of reluctantly, because I didn't want to um, splurge on books. I usually like to keep them cheap. And this was a, a gift I got myself uh, for last Christmas. Then another book I picked up, uh, I think around the same time. I think this was the gift I got myself for New Year's. I always have a tradition to go to Barnes & Noble's uh, around the holidays. And I picked up Indelible City by Louisa Lim, and this is a story of disposition and defiance in Hong Kong, and I haven't re finished reading this yet, uh, but already I'm enjoying it, and um, I picked this one up for $18, and again, another great find. Uh, then I have one of my favorite books. I picked this one up, I think, two years ago now. Uh, it's a book I gifted myself for I think it was for my my birthday um, and it is I am a cat by Soseki Nasumi I'm probably pronouncing that wrong and I'm sorry but this is three volumes in one and I have never read any of his work before I had never even heard of I am a cat but when I was checking out of Barnes and Nobles when uh, they were they, you know the, ca the cashier was um, scanning the book they're like oh my god that's such a good book and I had no clue about this book or how good it was or anything. I had literally no knowledge. I just picked it up simply because I was getting back into reading and it just said, I am a cat. And I was like, oh, it's going to be something simple. And um, again, one of these books that I'm really, really looking forward to reading. I haven't read it yet. It's just been on my shelf for like two years. I read a little bit of it, but um, I've been kind of waiting for like, I don't know, a long plane ride or something that I can really just like get into it. I really want to fully appreciate the book when I do read it. And again, this one was, yeah, $19.95, so almost $20 for that book. Then I picked up, as you can see here, um, The Art of War, classic. I think we always hear about this one. And I picked this one up for $17, kind of pricey. I definitely could have got it for cheaper. <clears throat> and this is one of those books you read once, and then you kind of come back on it and come back on it because you have to like, at least for me, you have to like, to fully appreciate it, you've got to like read it in sessions. There's prettier versions of this book. Like as soon as I bought this, uh, when I went back to Barnes and Nobles the next time, they had these like beautiful gold embossed and I was like, maybe I should have waited. But um, I'm glad I picked this up nevertheless. Um, then I picked up this one. I think I showed this in a prior video. But I've had this for at least since 2022, so I'm going to say at least two years. This was one of the first books um, I picked up after reading Young Chang's Empress uh, Dowager 
but um, I picked this one up after that because then I started to really get into Chinese history. But then uh, again, this is kind of a very biased uh, depiction. Kissinger is not uh, the greatest person to take your, all your advice from. Uh, he did not do some great things during the Vietnam War, and uh, anyway, so I kind of, I read this, you just eat the meat, you spit out the bones. That's that's the best advice I could say. Um, it's a decent book, obviously it's well written, but you have to remember, you're kind of reading from a very biased perspective. And I picked this one up for $22, um, and I'm glad I did, even though it's, a, you know, one of those controversial kind of books. Then I picked up, this one's, by the way, awfully heavy. Uh, it's Tim Harper's Global Revolutionaries and the Assault on Empire. It's Underground Asia. And this one I picked up for $21. Oh boy. This is like a brick of a book, too. And I always love when these books have um, pictures in them. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. But I feel like once I get to the point where like I've read all of this and I make it to the pictures... Like, I've accomplished something. Like, I don't know. It's like a reward. Now I can finally say that I've read half the book, at least. And um, this one I'm excited to get into. I haven't read this one yet either. It's been sitting on my shelf for, like, again, like two years. A lot of these books have been. Uh, I've just been so busy. Or picking up other books that are, you know, smaller. I get into, I read those quick, and I forget about these big books. But I've, I'm going to read it soon. Um, and when I do, I probably will for most of these books, uh, maybe make a small book review video if you are interested. But anyway, that's another book I picked up from Barnes & Nobles. And the last book I picked up from Barnes & Nobles, well, at least recently. I have a lot of books I've picked up, but um, these are the ones I haven't shown you. And this is an, an MBA and a book. And I don't know about that. So I'm majoring in business administration right now, and I wanted to pick up a book you know, that had like the very basic kind of charts and things for macroeconomics, which is a class I'm taking right now, accounting and all of that, <clears throat> since this is what I'm going to be learning in the future. And I absolutely hate little graphs and things like this. And I've been trying to like get past my fear of them. Um, and this book has been helping, definitely has been. So if anyone's majoring in business or is interested in, uh, a book like this, definitely pick it up. I got this on sale for $12. And to, to be honest with you, I definitely would not pay any more than $12 for these books. Uh, I th feel like they trick people a lot into thinking that uh, these books have to be like, oh, if they're good, then you'd pay anything for them. No. there's You can find some excellent books that are uh, really cheap. Like, I've gotten books that have uh, really helped me, like these old textbooks and things. Uh, that have given me better information than most of these new books that are highly priced, you know? So these are the books I picked up from Barnes & Nobles. And again, I usually don't go into Barnes & Nobles uh, very often, solely because um, the price. And I can pick up books from, you know, thrift shops, um, at least the, not the thrift shops in our area. There really isn't any good books. They're all snatched up. But I go to my library's book sales, which I know not everybody has, but... They have amazing deals. I can get books for like 25 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars. And um, I'm really grateful to have that. Uh, but if you want to pick up books and you don't have the opportunity to go to a book sale or thrift shop or whatever that has, you know, books you like, Amazon is your guy. You need to use Amazon. They have the cheapest books you can find. There's no way you can't find it. And also you can have the thing where you use price matching. Like, what I did with a lot of these other books I've bought was I take a picture. Like, for example, if you wanted to find this book cheaper and not it from Barnes & Noble. Uh, sometimes, actually, when I'm in Barnes & Noble, I take a picture of the book using my phone. I use the Google search, you know, option. And then I just search it. And it usually brings up... Uh, you could do it on the Amazon app, too. And you can search it, and you can find uh, the same exact book. And usually, usually you can find it at pretty low price and it's brand new same quality it's just cheaper and most of the time I like to do that and when I go to Barnes and Noble I take a picture of a lot of these books like this I like and then if they're cheaper you know I put them in my Amazon cart and I know the shipping and everything can sometimes be a problem like it might be like you you know you pay for the shipping and that kind of is like 
ends up being the same price as the, the Barnes and Noble book in the beginning. But what I do is I save up, you know, like if there's like, let's just say, let's just say I got all these books, right? I would take a picture of each of these. And then if I found them cheaper on Amazon, I purchase them on Amazon. And I kid you not, like these books here, I just said like they're at least like 20, 40, 60, 80. This is like at least a hundred dollars of books. And that's crazy. Uh, in my opinion, I don't think they should be that expensive. And I know people are going to be like, $20 are not that expensive. It's like, yes, I know. Um, but it is. <laughs> this economy, it is. And also, uh, the fact that I know I can find these books online for at least half the price. So, like, for example, like, this is an Amazon find. I picked up these books. It's the series. You might have heard of it. There was a movie that came out, <laughs> God, almost 10 years ago now, but Miss Pernigren's Home for Peculiar Children. And this is three novels of it. It's the trilogy. I think there's more to it, though, now. And I kid you not, I picked this up. It says for $44, but I got it on uh, sale. So it actually was only 20 So a lot of times, by the way, you think the sales um, on Amazon are the best when it's, like, obviously, like, Prime Day and things. But I've gotten in the past, just like, there's like a random, just go on a random Tuesday, and sometimes you'll find the seller is like, just having just a discount to try and, you know, get rid of the pro product as soon as possible. And you can find some like really good deals. Like in the past, I've gotten like at least five, 10 books, and there's like these specials you can get sometimes. And I got them like all for like $25, free shipping. It's amazing. Um, I also have Amazon Prime, which sometimes is worth it. Because you can have um, a lot of these books you get free shipping. And, you, and if you also, if you want to get them quickly, I've gotten books like literally I turn around. It's like two, three days later. If I want to do express shipping, it can be like a day. It's crazy. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. These were some books I picked up uh, from Barnes and Nobles. And this is also my message to you to tell you that if you want to pick up some books that are brand new, you know, but at a cheap price, use Amazon. Thank you for watching. More videos coming soon. And I apologize about my voice. And I'll be making some more audiobooks soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching. Your support is always deeply appreciated.